Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another edition of the Manchester United Manchester City show. But it's back to original settings. So it isn't the Mandem United podcast meets the Mandem City podcast. Shout out to my guy, Vato. He will be here tomorrow. Back to the original show. The first ever crossover from Mandem United. Mandem United, Gyaldem City. So we'll be discussing all things in regards to both Manchester clubs. Erling Haaland, is he a problem at Manchester City? Been a lot of criticism uh, gone. A lot of criticism has gone his way. Lissandro Martinez injured again. Lindelof injured also as well. So we got to bring in, I'm saying, one of the realest ones. Yan City is in the building. Yes, Yan, how are we doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Well, bless. All good. A little bit tired. But other than that, I am good. Mm -hmm. Saying all oh, bless, oh your brethren look in the court as well. Look, look at this guy, man. Flawless, you're all right. <laughs> and you're also bad time. Right. bad time for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is speak speaking away. I've got away, man, man out here called. So you know what? It's only one race to start, people. You man want to call people well at right. Let us know what you think the well at <laughs> so the way, but here can I just are. say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. <laughs> all right, okay. big up the panel. I told as for <laughs> hey, yeah, you're terrible for that, you know. You're the worst person in that clip outside of Ryan. That was you because you didn't move, you didn't blink, nothing, no smile, know, nothing I'm like that. Well, that was my reaction. I must have heard what he said. Now, nah, you heard what he said. Don't do that. You heard what he said. Don't do that. Don't lie. You was looking right into the camera and paying attention. We're going to get to the remix, <laughs> Warrior J, and shout out the remix. But run up the likes. Make sure you share the, hit the share button. Subscribe to the channel as well. Big up to Pels, who says, we back gaming for life. AJB in the cut as well, Warrior J. Basically, big up everyone tapped in apart from Ryan. Warrior J, like I said, I see you already as well. Get your questions in. Please keep it Manchester United or Manchester City related. But we'll go to you, Jan, and what I mentioned at the very start of the show, obviously a part of the title as well. Haaland, a lot of criticism levelled his way in regards to what does he do outside of goal scoring. So a couple of questions. One, your thoughts on his performance against Arsenal in particular and just him overall. Do you think the criticism is over the top? Is it justified? Is it somewhere in the middle? Right, I think uh, it's Haaland came in hmm. and he set the standard so high for himself Yeah, that Obviously, after the season we had last year and the mm. amount of games he played, because he did play a hell of a lot of games, um, he, I mean, for him to maintain that over two seasons would have been ridiculous anyway. Mm -hmm. He is still the top scorer, despite how bad he's been. He's been injured for a bit as well. So that just shows his level. Um, in regards to what he does off the ball, mm. I mean... He's not the best all-round player. However, yeah. his job is to score goals. Do you know? Yeah. That is essentially what he's there for. And he does that very well. This season, he's not been as good. I'm sure he would admit that himself. Um, no. I do think, though, last season we had a lot more creators. Like, even if you look uh, at people like Jao Cancelo, like Gundogan can create from time to time. No. Um you know, Mahrez. Mahrez can, you know, like yeah. there's a lot of players that we had who can create this season. I don't know if it's still the case, but it was the case until recently. Rodri was our top chance creator and he's a DM. So mm. it just shows uh, we're definitely not as creative this season. Anyone that watches City can see that. Um, and I think that it's not really Haaland's fault in that respect because even like De Bruyne, who's normally on it um, since he's come back from his injury, I mean, he came back well because normally mm. it takes him a while to kind of get back into things and I thought it would take him a while, but he came back and hit the ground running. The Newcastle um, game, right? He seems so fallen off a little bit. Yeah. Mm. He seems so fallen off a little bit since then. So, yeah, it's not ideal. We, there's not really anyone to create chances for him. So, as ineffective as he's been i wouldn't put all that blame on him because he is isolated like they're not passing to him so it's yeah it's it's a bit so you look at the teammates and saying the ball's not going yeah, to him when, I don't, when I don't it should think, be i think the criticism yeah. of him is way too much like he is still the league's top scorer anyone else that mm. was a league's top scorer wouldn't be having this conversation so um yeah I, I, nice. can he be better of course um but i think the whole team can there's Apart from maybe Rodri, 
Um, a kanji. Um, I think that's it, really. I think the rest of the squad could improve. Aki, to an extent, but he keeps getting injured. And John Stones as well, when he's there, he's fine. But obviously, he keeps getting injured. So, yeah, I think everyone else in the squad can improve. So, yeah. I don't, I don't think it's just Haaland. That's like, fair I don't enough. Think it's going to be a problem going forward. So, so you think... Like, so you think Reiki so it won't be a problem going forward and you're happy to see him in the team week in, week out? Because obviously you're running, you're I on, mean, I still on for all three trophies. You're still on. I Yeah, I did think in that Arsenal game, it was the sort of game where Alvarez would probably come on and score just mm-hmm. because something a little bit different. Um, I mean, he does play better up front. When Pep's been playing him in the midfield, he's not been as effective, but up front he is good. The problem with Haaland is if Pep takes Haaland off and De Bruyne yeah. puts a ball through and he's one-on-one with the keeper and Alvarez misses it, everyone would have said, if Haaland was on, we win that game. So I think, okay. to be fair to Pep, I understand why he didn't take Haaland off, but I personally mm-hmm. would have taken Haaland off and brought on Alvarez because we weren't looking like we were going to score. So no. to me, it wouldn't have harmed us if we'd have brought on Alvarez in that well, game to just try and to try and win it, you know. But, I mean, you can argue he could have taken De Bruyne off because De Bruyne wasn't effective in that game. Put Foden in the midfield. He could have yeah. switched it around a little bit. And tried something different. Um, yeah, I just think both teams didn't want to lose that game. Yeah, it gave um, me that And feel. I think that was... I think if Is City that... were, like, top of the league, I think yeah. Pep approaches it slightly differently. We did try and win it. We didn't go for a draw. We went there to win. Yeah, yeah. I thought you lot just played poorly. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. yeah. Is it it disappointing in the way you played? Because it seemed to just be a lack of intensity from both sides. Yeah, it's just a bit slow. Like, City play better when it's fast. It's really slow. I I don't understand. To be fair, the team that Pep put out, in my opinion, maybe could have started Grealish, but that was pretty much the right team. Uh, so okay, so you don't have any issues with the actual lineup. For that. I, I do think okay. it's the players that didn't perform as well as we should mm-hmm. have done. I don't know what yeah. they were doing because they were like trying to pass it. Like I don't know if you noticed, there was a chance for De Bruyne to shoot, and he was trying to pass it, and then it ended up mm-hmm. going to an Arsenal player. I just I don't know what they were doing. They just we didn't have many shots, even though we had a lot yeah. of possession. Yeah, I we mean... had a lot of like chances, but we didn't mm-hmm. actually have a lot of shots. So. I don't really know what they were doing because Rodri, every time he seems to shoot, he scores. But then he had opportunities and he was passing it. So, yeah, I don't really know what they were doing. For for me, I wouldn't blame Pep because I think he pretty much, considering who was injured, he put out our strongest, the strongest team. team. Yeah, it is. And to Not be fair, fair, I do think when Aki went off, it, it was night and day. And mm. Vardial actually played well. He was one of our better players in that game. But... You could see when Aki was there, there was no joy on that on that side at all. No. Absolutely nothing coming from Arsenal. He comes off and they get more joy. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but Big yeah, up kind of seat. <laughs> Big up my Don Rants for the raid. Shout out my brother Rants. Big up to everyone who's just joined over from the raid. Please keep hitting the like button. Everyone who's just joined over from the raid, hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, Jay Jug says it. Rants raid, 16 out of 10 facts. <laughs> and for those that don't know, this this is two of the quartet that was on that infamous 16 out of 10 video, just to clarify, people. Man City is there. I'm there as well, just to clarify. You know. What do you put out those two clips before we carry on? The original or the remix? Which, which is funnier to you? I think the crickets. Nah, there's crickets <laughs> on both. There's cricket. There's two versions. Oh, you mean I mean, the one where? The yeah, 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 yeah. The zoom in. Which one's funnier to you? The original. I think, I think they're the both funnier. The zoom phenomenal. in one because. Yeah, the zoom. That's great. On the actual clip, like you <laughs> talk kind of soon after, whereas on the clip it looks like you're not talking either. So it, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> It is a big old ride. He says every stream I go on, um, all I see is 16 out of 10. So for those that may well, you know, here's the original. By the way, can I just say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told as for, and that's the original. And you may not have seen the remix, people. (laughs) Story. By the way, can I just say the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them.
All right, big up the panel. I told as for look at his dumb face out there. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm crying tears. <laughs> this dumb face at the end. You're a bad mind because you could have said something to save money. That I blame you. I blame you and your most that, you, blame. you and I both know that wasn't directed at me. That was directed was, at He said, one. No, no, no. He said, Yeah, he said, the two girls. He said, he Both. You want me to like. Yeah, because you're gonna be devastated if you didn't get a compliment well, from Ryan. Yeah, yeah, your world's gonna fall apart. Were you lying to me? <laughs> yeah, I don't really just lie like I don't know you. Oh shit. I'm glad Rant raided, yo, just to see that. Yo, that's beautiful, man. Oh, Jesus. Hey Ryan, just go on social media every day, man. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> you will not be missed. <laughs> like you can go off every day. See, he said it to both you lot. He said it to both you lot. Oh shit. Hey, people, you're going to get tired of seeing that clip. I'm running that every day. But <laughs> one of the likes, hit the subscribe button, just to clarify. Any super chat of any amount, I'll play one of the two videos you can pick. So to anyone who super chats, any amount. <laughs> and if it's six, if it's 610 in your current, a currency or 1610 in your currency, I'll run both. But you get to choose the original or the remix, any amount, super chat, people. But shout out to everyone who's super chatting. I'm back again, £6.10 or 1610. A big up now, Warrior J. I don't think Rance has seen it. I don't know, but I'm sure you lot will tell him now. So, shout out to my guy Rance. Oh, six, yeah, man. 16th of October, remember the dates. We will be there. Yes, even Jordan has said it. I've been wondering why people were saying that. On different... <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Whew. The man. thing is, if Ryan didn't come in, it wouldn't have happened. This guy just put in his mouth. <laughs> where we, where was we at? Oh yeah. So your approach to the game and Pep, would you have preferred to have yeah. seen him make different subs in the game though? Like maybe bring on Alvarez alongside Harlan. Like maybe push Alvarez yeah. out wide, like left or right. I think yeah. In hindsight, because Foden hmm. being pushed out wide, it wasn't working. Yeah. He was. He's been way more effective. Foden's been one of our best players this season, hmm. and it's when he's been in the midfield. And a lot of City mm -hmm. fans are saying, I'd rather see him in midfield, even if it means dropping De Bruyne while he's not in this form, while he's not in mm -hmm. his best form or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, he could have changed it. But I think in hindsight, if Arsenal then go and win, you know, mm -hmm. he'd kind of get the blame for that. So City looked like they might get a winner eventually, like the way the game was going, because mm -hmm. we had a lot of possession. We just didn't do much with the chances that we did have. Um, or not even the chances, because we didn't, like I say, we weren't shooting. If You know, yeah. you can't. I don't you had enough like, of the ball in the right areas. You just didn't, yeah, you just, that lack of I don't feel like the goalkeeper was busy. I don't remember Ortega making yeah. a save. Yeah, and I, I don't you. remember Raya making a save. Yeah. Like, they might have had, like, the odd save. I know the Aki one, mm. he made a save there. But mm. they weren't doing much. Like, they weren't busy. You know, it wasn't no. like one of them games where the goalkeepers are busy. So, yeah, it wasn't... It was kind of like... I think both teams... It's a typical... Both teams don't want to lose. So, both teams are a bit cautious. But I think City tried to win. Whereas Arsenal... That's, I'd say that you lot tried Arsenal to win. Yours is a lucky really win. set up to win. Because they could have. If they went for it with that yeah. back four that we had, Arsenal could have won that game. Did their approach surprise you? That. Did their approach... Because I've never seen Arsenal set up. Did their, like, I defensive thought, approach surprise I mean, you? The thing is, the fans and the club are two different things because the fans were saying, pray for Man City, we'll come in there to beat you, we're going to win the league. The club obviously weren't saying that. So it's two different things, you know. It's hmm. it's kind of like when City fans go on about, we're going to go to Anfield and win. It's like, when do we ever win at Anfield? Like, you know, it's just one of them things. I think, um, I mean, this title race is interesting because we've never been in this situation before. Like, mm -hmm. there hasn't been a free horse race like this. 
I think the clip, the last time I remember one, apart from the Leicester season where there was, but we weren't involved, um, there was, I think, the 2014 season. But even then, Chelsea fell off, like, a bit before the end. It was Liverpool versus City at the end. That's why I don't remember. Um, but, yeah, it was like, because Chelsea weren't in the title race when... Gerard slipped like they they'd already gone out. So. Oh yeah, they was kind of around it. Yeah, 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 yeah they were yeah, they, they were of... they were in the title race in February, and mm. then sort of I think March maybe April they kind mm. of dropped out, and then it was City versus Liverpool for the end bit. Mm. Um, but I, I mean, yeah, we haven't had this. The thing is with City is at looking at Man City now, the way we're playing, the results mm-hmm. that we're getting, the fixtures we have left. I think yeah. all three of us drop points. I don't see any of us going nine out of nine, personally. Um, but I do think with Man City, Man I don't that as well. see us winning it just based off how we're playing. However, okay. with Man City, You're we've com- seen we've seen yeah. us click at times. Yeah. Like last season, at this point, I was feeling like we weren't going to win the league, and then we went mm. and won it. So you can't rule out this team. We can't rule out Pep Guardiola. But I do think the way we're playing, if we continue like this, we're not winning the league. Um, so you're looking to see an improvement from everybody where you yeah, go. Yeah, we need to play better. Because, I mean, yeah. Liverpool, like... Liverpool, when they play well, they win. When they play mm. OK, they win. Um, mm. Arsenal, when they play well, they win. When they play mm. OK, they win, maybe. Draw, sometimes. We City, when we play well, we win. When we don't, anything less than well, we do not win. So mm. it's just one of them. I think I do expect Liverpool to win the league based on the current standings. I do expect that to happen. Just because they've been there before, they've done it. Klopp's leaving. Trent and that lot are going to come back soon. So I, I do expect Liverpool to win it. However... You think Liverpool will win the Premier happen. League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so you have them currently, and is that more so because not only of their quality of players, also because of their manager, also because you don't respect yeah, Arsenal I just and the fixture list? They're playing better than us, and okay. I think because they've been there before, and I think we'll mm-hmm. all drop points. So it's not like Liverpool will drop points, but mm-hmm. Arsenal won't, and City won't. Like we'll all drop points. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. games that I think. They'll drop points in. There's also sometimes banana skins that you don't think, like you know them games that you go into thinking, oh, we'll win that, and then you don't. So there's potential that we could all drop points in games that we're not expecting to drop points in. For me, I think Crystal Palace and Spurs for Man City. You've spoken, you spoken the two. about the Crystal Palace game. Yeah, yeah. for Liverpool yeah. and Arsenal, I think United and Spurs, they're the two. However, yeah. you don't know Everton away for for Liverpool. Might be hard. Might be tough. That's Everton going to be might tough. To stay up. Yeah. So there's there's mm. quite a lot of other games. City have games that it's not easy. We got Villa tomorrow. That's not an easy game. I know that Ollie Watkins is out, which is good for us. Um, and they don't travel still, well either. They really don't travel yeah, well. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I would expect us to beat no. an, anyone at home. Like, do you know what I mean? Out of the yeah, teams I mean. we have left, I think. Liverpool win all the Anfield games. I don't think they drop any points at all yeah. at home. Um, so it's just going to be the away games for them. Arsenal, mm. again, I expect them to win all the games at the Emirates. So it's just... Yeah, they travel to Spurs, Spurs they travel to away, OT. Yeah. Yeah, so... And they travel to OT. And that's like the yeah, second yeah, yeah. to last game of the season. I think it's United's last home game. Yeah. I think. So it's it's not going to be easy. I think we'll all drop yeah. points. But I think based on the fact we're all going to drop points, Liverpool will win because they're top now. So... Okay. That's my Science. logic. However, we have... You lot can seen, turn it on. Man, we've seen it, we unfortunately. We have seen Man City do, you know, come out go of nowhere on. and just go, go for it. So. It depends as well with everything else as well, Champions League and stuff. I was going to say, do you think there's a possibility you win... Not nothing, but don't win any of the major two trophies. That's what I say. Yeah, of course. There's, I mean, hmm. City have been better in the Champions League than they have been in the league. Consistently all season, the Champions League, we've been great. We've been really good. We look good okay, every time. Must have, for you to say that, it must have been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we've been fine in the Champions League. It's just the league. I just don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. I think now we've kind of got over the because we had a lot of pressure on us to win the Champions League, and the more we didn't win it, the more pressure we had. That's true. So the fact that we've now got that out of the way, the 
pressure is not the sort hoodie. of weighing us down anymore. Obviously, we've still got to go play Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. The way we're playing at the moment is not great going into a game like that. Um, and the injuries that we've got, again, it isn't great. We need people like Ake um, and John Stones in them yeah, sort of games. Good. We need De Bruyne at his best. We can't have yeah. the, the De Bruyne that played against Arsenal. We can't have that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have to fix up to beat Real Madrid. <coughs> we are going to beat them. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I suppose it depends as well, because if we did go out of the Champions League, then but we you have to go the league. So True. We, it could see us, you know, try... Hey, Real, 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 Real Madrid, you yeah, must, man. So. I need you lot to knock these two out. Because I think Arsenal will get past Bayern. So I need yeah, to take I it do. to yeah. business. Yeah. I think Bayern I need Munich. To business. I mean, we played Bayern Munich last season, and mm. at home we beat them 3-0. Away it was a draw, but, like, Haaland missed a penalty. We didn't have to win. It wasn't like... It wasn't one of them where we were going for it because we were already... We just needed to not lose that game. I mean, mm -hmm. we could have lost 2-0 and still gone through. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I get it's you. just one of them. But um, I, I do... I don't see Bayern Munich getting past Arsenal. So, well, I, and I, I will... Do, yeah, I think Arsenal will do it as well. Uh, big up to Malcolm. Just became a member. I think I don't know if he's upgraded, but he just became a sarcasm city soldier. Malcolm, let me know because that's the tier. You get into the Instagram group chat. So, let me know if you want to get... If you want me to add you to the group chat, you'll also get on the members' Q&As as well on the ones on Twitch, or the one on Twitch. So, yeah, let me know about that, Malcolm. But big up to you. If you want to join the membership, link's in the pinned comment. Continue to get your questions in as well. I see you lot. I will pick out the best questions to make sure Yan City and myself get to your questions. Super chat, and we'll definitely get to it as well. Ryan says, people are saying 16 out of 10 <laughs> on Staffy stream. What the fuck? I need to, if that reminds me, I need to send a clip to Staffy. Shout out to Jacob, because he played it yesterday. I sent him the original. So I need to send him the remix <laughs> as well. Shout out to him. Gavin says, uh, next girl I see, I'm going to use the 16 out of 10 line and report back the results, LOL. Well, let me know how it goes, man. That's the everyone that. in the chat. Everyone in the Don't chat, if you do try it, let me know. Ryan. No, 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 Don't it's not take a game, game, but like you have to, it's an unserious game, but it could, it might work. I'm saying, or maybe you show it a clip or something like that. <laughs> but Gavin, let me know. Let me know how it goes. That's to anyone else watching. If you drop the line, let me know how it goes. And this is City's remaining fixtures. So Villa at home, Palace away, Madrid away, obviously in the Champions League. Luton at home, Madrid at home, second leg. Chelsea in the FA Cup. Brighton away, Forest away, Wolves at home, Fulham away, West Ham at home. So let's say hypothetically, because you did point out Villa and Palace mm -hmm. home and away. Let's say you win both of those games. Are you then if favourites we... in your mind to win, the, to, to win the Premier League? If you win both of those two. Obviously, it depends on what happens elsewhere. But I do think okay. if United get something from Liverpool... Yeah. And we beat Villa and Palace. Mm -hmm. That puts us in a great position because realistically, we should be win we should be winning our home, so we should be beating Luton. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously we've got the FA Cup and stuff like that. I don't know what will happen in that. To be fair, Brighton away. Don't is, do that. You do that. Brighton Pepting away. This Chelsea. To be fair. We'll go on. I don't want to jinx my club, but usually Man City don't struggle too much against Brighton. I know they yeah. beat us a few years ago when um mm -hmm. what's his face? The one that's at Tottenham now. What's his name? Pastor Goglu. No. Who? The midfielder. Basuma. Basuma. Yeah, Basuma. He yeah, yeah, had yeah. like a ten out of ten performance against Man City. Yeah. We'd already pretty much won the league at that yeah, point yeah. and they beat us. But usually when we need to go away to Brighton and get the points, we mm. tend to do it. Obviously, this season's a bit of a weird one, but mm -hmm. we do tend to do it. Forest away is not easy, but we should be winning that. Mm. Wolves at home, again, we're at home, we should be winning that. Even though Wolves over the years have caused us some problems. Fulham away, is, again, is not easy, mm. but we should be winning that. West Ham at home is... is I mean, West Ham this season... Are, I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, they're a funny side. And let's not forget, obviously, they're yeah, going to well, have well. anything to play for at that point in the season, though, based on how they're playing. It, I don't mm. know how close they are to relegation, but I don't think they're in the relegation zone, and mm. I don't think they're anywhere near the top. I don't even know. Yeah, they're, they're like yeah, they're like, like seven mid table or seven. something. Yes, no, no, no. They're actually seventh. They're in a European oh, spot. Are they? Okay, yeah, they're so seventh. Depending yeah, they're... on what they have to play for, to make yeah. that easier or harder. Oh yeah, they're seventh, so they're not doing yeah. that bad. Yeah, see, I know my stuff. Oh, I'm so surprised. Yeah, they're seventh. Yeah, you, know, you do I have... don't know anyone. Is... Why is Chelsea so yeah. far down? Oh, my God. Well, don't do this. 
<laughs> you do this pep thing, you know what I'm saying? Vader does it and you do it. I don't like these pep disciples. Actually, I do when it's not directed at me, but you lot do this thing. Yeah, so West Ham, yeah. Where you just so... downplay, downplay teams, but like in a snide manner. You know why Chelsea are sold far down the table? No, actually, you know I didn't know. I didn't know where West Ham were. They, they, they dropped, they dropped to, West Ham, no, but... West Ham. Chelsea dropped West... to 12th today because Bournemouth won. Because Bournemouth beat oh, Palace. Oh, Bournemouth won. Yeah, yeah, Bournemouth beat oh, Palace. Yeah. And let's not forget in this... Because it needs to be rescheduled. The Spurs away game as well. We'll yeah, be somewhere in yeah, this mix. Yeah. But it depends I mean, on you lot in the champs. going to be like quite near the end. So yeah, that yeah, will be. be interesting. Yeah, I mean, Spurs away is just... We won there in the cup, yeah, but some know, wasn't yeah. playing. So, See yeah, I'm not, I'm not expecting any points from that game. Like, I hope we win, but I'm not expecting any points. So this is why I'm saying... It all depends on what happens with everyone else. Because I do see us all dropping points. But if we Make don't sense. drop points, mm. uh, say, for example, Liverpool drop, say they draw one, lose one, yeah, somewhere yeah, yeah. in their run then. Mm -hmm. Arsenal do the same. And then we have Spurs. By yeah. that point, we might be able to afford to draw to Spurs based on how the... So, yeah, we'd have to see. Oh. But I don't... Spurs away... The, our record there is like worse than Anfield, so yeah, oh. it's uh, That's good. a big <laughs> one to Victor. Points, but I'm hoping we can win. I mean, this season's been mm -hmm. weird. Maybe we, maybe we win. I there. think you win there. I do. I've maybe. said, I've, I've said know? from, I've said from the start of the season all the way up until now. Unfortunately, I think you lot win the league. I think really. You I do, uh, do you know what? I, I get, uh -huh. I get why, but I just think at the moment. It's, it's interesting, actually, because a lot of City fans are watching the documentaries today and they're like, yeah, I think we're going to win the league because this team is, like, crazy. Yeah, um, exactly. You're not going with I'm telling you. Yeah. I think Liverpool will drop you know points in Arsenal or Arsenal. There's certain players in our squad that are just... Their mentality is mm -hmm. crazy. Like, Rodri is one of them. Um, like, Ruben Diaz. You know, them sort of players, they're just, like... A kanji, what, has track, got a one track mentality. mindset, like they got yeah, the mindset. Like, yeah, just, yeah. like a kanji was saying, like if we finish second, we failed. Like he's, you know, it's mm. it's going to be interesting to see what they do because right now on the pitch, it doesn't really look. It doesn't look like they're trying as hard as mm. they could, but you know, I don't know. The fact that they're still in this race this late on means that we have a chance. So Yeah, of course. You have, what, three we'll points off the top? To yeah, you know, with we'll nine games to go. To I think three... when... It depends when people drop points. I always say this. I was saying this last season. Like, about... you could both drop the same amount of points. But if you're... So, say, for example, Liverpool drop. Say they lose to Man United. That hmm. lead at the top is gone. If mm -hmm. City and Arsenal win. Yeah. So, it, me it means that when they oh they're playing Sheffield first, so they'll win that. But say say yeah, for example sure they lose like at the weekend and City mm -hmm. win and um Arsenal win. That's gone mm. then. So then that means Liverpool then have to win their next game. Whereas if they keep that three point gap and then I don't know, they come up well it's not three points for Arsenal, but do you know what I mean? If they keep that gap at the top and mm. then they draw, it's not as bad for them because they don't see it they're still gonna be top of the league, you know, essentially. Mm. So yeah, it's no. it depends on when you drop the points. If no, City first. can avoid dropping points till everyone else drop point drop points, then it puts because you're talking about from a momentum shift, yeah, which is yeah, key yeah. in a yeah. in a key in a title race. Big up yeah. to Victor as well, been a member of the channel for 18 months. Oh, Says hope everyone had a 16 out of 10 Easter. Big up. <laughs> I hope everyone did. I hope everyone had a 16 out of 10 Easter. I hope everyone had a 16 out of 10 day. And as a whole, and as a 16 out of 10 day today as well. I really, really hope so, man. Really hope so. To everyone who's saying they're going to try that line, please let us know the results. You might as well, you got nothing to lose. See what I'm saying? And it may work. It may work. Hopefully it works better for you than it did for Ryan. Because, you know, it died horrible death with Jan. She wasn't even trying to hear it. Big up to Kev Beats, who says, Flawless, what do you think if we lose six points this week? If we lose, what difference does it make? I've already mentally checked out from Manchester. What are you laughing with? Huh? What's so funny? Nothing, darling. Don't nothing, darling. Me, all right, sunshine. Don't even try it. Don't even fucking don't even try it. Who you playing? Finish first and she's like, Liverpool we got, we got, we got Liverpool. So we got Chelsea on Thursday. Unfortunately, oh, that's Chelsea, gonna be a stink though. fest. Yeah. So before I was rudely interrupted by a laughter. Oh no, our Ryan feels. Um, 
Or do I think if we lose six points this week, get your laugh out, it's cool. It don't matter. If we lose both games, the only thing I look at is stopping Liverpool from winning the league. That's why there's something mm. on that game. But in regards to the Chelsea game, all right, we lose. Okay, we win. Okay, we draw. It doesn't change anything. I've already been mentally checked out. Like, I don't, I don't like, I just don't like what I'm seeing. Everything's ugly with Manchester United. I have no love for the club. I have zero love. Like, I love it in name only because it's Manchester United. But I don't love you how you're acting. Kind of like them family members you don't fuck with. Like, yeah, I love you because we're family, but I don't like you in any way, shape or form. That's what it's like with Manchester United. I feel nothing towards them. We win, we lose, we draw, I feel nothing. That is the occasional, like, what the Liverpool game matter? Yeah, because it's Liverpool. Fuck them all the time. Because they're number one ups for me personally. So that's the game. That's the game I always look at. All right, when do we play Liverpool away? Like, when the fixture list drops. So we need to stop them in regards to just them winning the league and just derail what they have going on. So the, the place will be rocking again like it was for the FA Cup quarterfinal and the players will be up for it. And we do, we must, uh, but that, the I Arsenal think the game, fans will yeah, have, the fans will be up for it. I think before the Cup game, a lot of United mm. fans were literally saying um, they thought they were going to lose. So I no, think I the fact that you did beat them means going into this game, the fans will actually think, oh, well, we can do it because we've, we've, you know, we've done it yeah, before. Yeah, done it before. Yeah. So, like that, that's and that, that and happened that's with legit. us with Chelsea that season when they beat us in the Champions League because we oh. played them once away and, mm. you know, we, we didn't do too well and they beat us and then we mm. played them at home and, I mean, we should have won that home game, but we didn't. Mm. And they got mm. like a last minute winner. Um, and then it was like, then when we went into the Champions League, it was like oh. they'd already beaten us twice. So yeah. it just kind of put a bit of doubt in our mind and because then, beat you, you know, twice. gave them yeah. the momentum. And obviously we didn't set up well. Obviously mm. Pep didn't play Rodri, whatever. But yeah, it just, you know, that made that game a lot harder. Whereas if we'd have just won the home game, which we should have done, mm -hmm. it would have, change things I think in the fact I'm not saying we would have won I always said we'd lose our first Champions League final you just um, said that you, but you I do that. think we would have that game might have played out differently had we not lost that game mm. a few weeks before so yeah I do, I do expect Liverpool to come and beat you because because of that game yeah, I get <laughs> you, you know they'll, I mean? they'll, they'll I be up for them I get to, you. yeah reply to that yeah. um but I mean it'd be good if you could like get a point or something but I actually do think we will. So to answer the question, yeah. I think both will be draws. I think we draw to Chelsea in an absolute awful 1-1. And then oh, I think good. the Liverpool yeah. game is more entertaining. It's all good. You, I have to watch it. And then 2-2. Two, two, I think that United-Liverpool, I think that will be okay. entertaining. I think it will be very similar to the FA Cup game in regards to the energy from both sides, and particularly United. The place is going to be rocking because it's yeah, actually okay. high stakes. Like, United-Liverpool needs no further stakes. Like, even if we were 10th and they were 11th, the game's a massive game and both teams mm. are going at it, like, regardless. But now you actually add, add Premier League yeah, for them. Adds to it. Like, there's more on it. Like, you don't need... This needs no stakes. You don't need to add anything onto this. Is United Liverpool? Fuck them. And that's how they look at us. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see what I'll go on with that. Big up to MVI says, ooh, hi. Like, yeah, we don't worry. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> like, yeah, like, for those that don't know, that's another Ryan clip. We got three or four. Don't worry, people. Them Ryan Hits is going to keep rolling out. Shout out, Kawaja. Um, Warrior J says, speaking of Manchester United, thoughts on Martinez and Lindelof injuries. <sighs> we just can't catch a break. Martinez shouldn't have been on the pitch against Brentford. I said this. when he Go back and check the watch. Why are we bringing him on? We're playing Brentford away under the cosh. This man hasn't played. I think he trained one week. I'm not sure if he played for Argentina during international break. Why? Camberwala is there. Play Camberwala. And I'm not saying him playing, him playing, obviously, he cost, not cost us the equaliser, but he was involved for that, but he shouldn't be playing. And now, now he's been injured. Did that have, imp did it impact it? Maybe, maybe not. But to me, he shouldn't be. But yeah, medical staff got to go, Kev. I've said this, ACGI, man. Worth to Eddie. Anybody can get it. Get rid of everybody. I want everyone gone from Manchester United. I can't clarify that enough. Literally from the top all the way to the bottom. The hierarchy, I've said this from the, and this ain't the new people coming in, but from ownership, CEO, COO, DOF, head of scouting, all the scouting team, head of medical staff, all the medical staff, all of the coaches, the manager, 
the tea lady, the canteen staff, the kit man, stewards, everybody. Only person I'm keeping is Fred the Red. Everybody can go. I'm tired. That's legit where I'm at with this football club. A complete reset. So yeah, with Martinez get Lindelof's no loss, but um, Martinez getting injured is a blow, but that's on us and that foolishness. He should have been ready and set for the Liverpool game. Should have been training all week. Shouldn't have played against Brentford. He trains. You don't bring him on against Chelsea and then you play him against Liverpool. That's what you do. Yeah, T-Lady got to go. I love Barbara, but she can cut while she... It's a wrap. Hey, the stewards got to go too, Victor. They've been here too long. For those that seen when Yanis was going on about the books, um, this was a few... I think it was like last month or a couple months ago and the books were doing bad for those that don't know. Yanis is one of the biggest players in NBA. And he just went on a rant and he was like, the first team players have to be better. The bench players have to be better. The coaches have to be better. He was like, the, the staff have to be better. We have to watch the kits better. Everything has to be better. That's where I'm at with Manchester United. We need a complete reset. Corey said it best. Like, and I don't want anyone who's been around this losing culture. Receptionist, I want everybody gone. New everything. <laughs> New everything. Like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, like, for real. So, yeah, it's like he shouldn't have been on the pitch. I'm not mad at Leach coming on, but should have been like ten, five, ten minutes max. Just leave him, match. That's my point on him. Because we've watched him come back from injury before and not be the same. Why are we rushing him back to play Brentford? Like, if he was in a title race, I'd kind of understand it because you want your best players on the pitch. If It's not an important point. Whether we beat Brentford, lost to them or drew, which we ended up doing, what difference does it make? Well, again, this manager's been lost. He's, uh, he's, he's, he, he sucks. And to MC40, you says about wanting Arsenal to not win the league. Just, just to clarify, I want everybody to... I want any of these three to win the league. I've said this before. I'll say this again. You're, you're picking a guy to take my wife off. You're saying pick between these three. I'm still losing my wife. Makes no difference whatsoever. So whether it's City, whether it's Arsenal, whether it's Liverpool, I, think I have it's no like, preference. It's, I get it from your point of view because obviously Bigger Victor. you don't like either of them. Yeah, I can't stand any well, of them. Well, all three. I think it's just, it's just what's the worst case scenario because obviously Liverpool would have 20 League titles, which is obviously what you've got. City would four peat, so obviously you don't want that. Um, and then Arsenal would break their twenty year um See, all right, you know what? Year drought, so horrible. You're picking you're saying, Hey, pick a gun to let me shoot you with. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what it is. I want you lot. I can't scenario. stand it. The road back, you lot get four peat and it's terrible. Arsenal over twenty years is terrible, and Liverpool getting anything is terrible. I want it's kind of like it's kind of like when we had the um when the Champions League final was Spurs versus Liverpool. Like mm. obviously, um at at that time Liverpool were our rivals. Be, However, yeah. if Spurs had won the Champions League before City, yeah, would that would have been you. worse for City. So in that game, mm. I wanted Liverpool to win, not because I really wanted Liverpool to win mm. anything. It was just that it was the lesser of the two evils at that time because Liverpool already had five Champions League. So it didn't really make a difference if they got six. Whereas mm -hmm. if Spurs get one before City, City would never live sat down as a club. So it, it's the same with kind of like um with Chelsea and City. Obviously people wanted didn't want Chelsea to get two, but they didn't want City to get one. So it was kind of like, well, it's better for Chelsea to have two than City to have one. Do you know what I mean? So Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of just have to justify it based off, based off that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, that's what it is. That's why. So they always answer the question the same. None of the above. I'm fucked either way. <laughs> right? You don't mouth. Basically saying, hey, we're gonna shoot you with one of these guns. Pick one. <laughs> like, no, there's no, there's no good way for that to happen. It's all bad. Like I said, from I've, a sheer personal, from a from a footballing club perspective, so just from a footballing perspective, so I take all biases aside, all hatred aside, Arsenal are the best pick. For City, you don't want them to fall, Peter. Liverpool, you don't want to match them. Arsenal, yeah, there's no yeah. record to Arsenal be broken. Best, That's yeah. from a footballing perspective. However, from my selfish perspective, from a selfish perspective, and that's me talking personally with people I know, the job I do, content creating and that, Arsenal is worst case scenario. That is worst case scenario. Yeah, I Arsenal, hate Liverpool Arsenal more, but Arsenal, Arsenal are worst case scenario because yeah. their fans are on. They ain't one shit and their fans are unbearable. And yeah. don't get mistaken, yeah. Manchester United, our fan base is completely unbearable. We was half decent last season. Look at me. I was unbearable as shit. And we were just half decent. We were even great. We were just of a decent level. 
I think it, yeah, it's it's kind of like for me, like as a City fan, mm. obviously I want to win it. But if we don't yeah. win it, it's like looking at what the best case scenario is mm. if we don't win it. Um, I mean, people are already saying if Pep doesn't win it, if Arteta wins it, then mm. it's bad for Pep. I mm. mean, you can look at that two ways. You can look at it as if to say, as if to say Pep's, the people that Pep's trained and now challenging for Premier League titles, or you can look at it as his apprentice is now overtaking him, whatever, in the league um, for that season or whatever. I mean, for me, there's no argument for Pep because he's literally done crazy things since he's come here and he is allowed a season where he doesn't win the league after winning three in a row, um, in my opinion. Um, however... Yeah, it's, it's just one of them things. Or oh, does Klopp win it? I think that's going to be Fun quite thing. unbearable, to be yeah, fair, considering that. he's leaving. It's going to be the fairy tale end- ending. Yeah. That's not going to be good viewing, to be fair. No. Um, from a pet point of view, it's better if Klopp wins it, just because mm. he'd still yeah. be 5 2 in terms of them two. Yeah, head with to the body, them head to head. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it looks like it's only Klopp that pets. Struggle the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I get you one. Yeah. yeah, it's but it's. I mean, City just need to win it to save football. I can't lie. I oh, shut up. Oh, we do. Yeah. I cannot. Hey. That loving over the summer if Clot if Clot wins it. Oh yeah, be ridiculous. Uh, I agree with that. And then just, if Arteta just, wins it. Yeah, the loving. Uh, so we should just we should just void it. That's what we should do. <laughs> we should void the shit. Just void it. That's what we should do. Why just void it. You know what I'm saying? Just void it. the thing, man. It's not the team. Unless City win it. City win it, it's fine. It's not just whatever. And big up to MVR says Eric 16, uh, 16 out of 10 hard. That's good. That is good. 16 out of 10 hard. It's brilliant. Shout out, Ryan. He's probably in Staffy stream. Well, I'm going to send the links to Staffy. Uh, <laughs> City Arsenal are pool winning the league. City Arsenal winning the Champions League. Liverpool winning the, Champ- the Europa League. Leeds getting promoted. If there's a God, it's testing us for all this. <laughs> I thought about this. You're right. That's why I've been keeping an eye on championship. And I believe Leeds, I don't think they're top of the league. I think they're third, but I know they won. I think they won. Let me actually check the championship. Because I ain't trying to say, yo, fuck Leeds too. You know, like, I ain't got no time for them. I ain't got no time. Let me have, yeah, they beat Hull City. But yeah, yeah, they're currently second. But Leicester have a game in hand on them. And then Ipswich are currently top. So hopefully Leicester and Ipswich do the business. Leeds losing the playoffs. That's what I need. But you say I was saved by Jordan not winning the F- uh, Asian Cup and Nigeria not winning the African Cup of Nations in the same weekend. So I need that again. You know what I'm saying? I need City and Liverpool, City and Arsenal out the champs and then Leeds not through in the championship. And then we good. We'll take the hit from the rest. It's like, all right, whatever. Liverpool win the Europa League. All right, first. <clears throat> all right, JJ, we'll get to it. Interview her on what she was thinking about during the 16 out of 10 moments. So this is Yancy. You know what I'm saying? I one don't of even the, remember one of the that. I remember that. Okay. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, remember you remember that, that clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, obviously, I started laughing because it was funny. Yeah. I don't remember the 16 out of 10 because the thing is, Ryan says stuff like that all the time. This is him. <laughs> like, he literally, every stream, he'd be like, oh, the girl, turn your webcam on. The girl's looking... Like, he does this all the time. That's why I was just unfazed by it. It's not like... Like, if someone else said it, if someone like Lewis came on and said that, I'd be like, oh, because that's not like him. Yeah. So it would have had a different reaction. But, yeah, Yeah. like, that's Ryan. That's what he does. So for those that don't know, that's just a little backstory. Because you understand this. That was, like, two, three years ago. So a lot of people don't know the backstory. So that that was a regular thing. Look, you see, Jan, she's tired of it. And it was two, three years ago. So that's where it stems from. So what's your thoughts on it when you've watched it back? I mean, I don't, I, I am surprised that I didn't react. Because <laughs> I feel like I always react, even if it's laughing or whatever. Like, so I don't know what I was thinking because my face is just kind of straight. And that's yeah, not yeah, like me. This guy's a so dickhead. Yeah, you was thinking, oh, this guy's a dickhead. That's what you were thinking. <laughs> that's what you were thinking. Just be honest. No lie. I don't be know honest. what I was thinking, but yeah. yeah. Probably. So yeah, there you go, Jay Jug. So you got your one. you got your response to Yancy. You don't hit me with the, your face says it all. You know what they say? <laughs> your face speaks louder, like actions speak louder than words. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Your face said it all. It did. <laughs> Where is he when he comes back? When when it comes back, we're gonna we gonna play it again if he pops back up. If not, we'll end the stream <laughs> with it anyway. It's beautiful. Oh, it's great. 
it could happen to a nice guy. I'm so happy about it, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's so great, like it's so phenomenal. And there's more people. That's the great, like that's just part two of that same stream, like the oh hello hi, just the Allison thing. There's more. There's so many more. The Allison one's done. the best, man. Oh, Allison one's hilarious. Clip. People have even seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found the stream. The stream's uh, still on it. I found the stream. I found the stream. <laughs> yeah. Elson, Elson. Elson. Even my Ooh. dad is laughing in the background. <laughs> that's just cracking up, yo. <laughs> Shout out, Ryan, man. You can hold that. Uh, Flawless, <laughs> would you take the Brentford coach for United? No, I would not take Thomas Frank. I've said this before. I'll say this again. I don't want any manager who is currently managing in the Premier League, and I don't want any manager who's previously managed in the Premier League. The only exception to that is Carlo Ancelotti. I want new, fresh. I don't want anybody coming. Why do we always get managers with excess baggage? You know what I'm saying? Some baggage from their previous relationships. It's like, nah, nah, nah. Clean slate. Do you know what fresh I always new. say about managers, though? And, oh. like, a lot of people, they talk about, oh, Pep couldn't do it at Bolton or Pep couldn't right. do it at Stoke. Some of these yeah. managers couldn't do it at City. That's the way it is. Like, some of these managers... Talk about it. They're made for mid-table clubs. They come in... It's like Sam Allardyce. Sam Allardyce is known yeah. for coming in, keeping the club up, mm. and then moving on to another relegation team. That's where he excels. You wouldn't take Sam Allardyce and give him the Real Madrid job because he's not going to do what they need at Real Madrid. So, right. yeah, I think too, there's too much focus of this manager who's great at this club couldn't do it at a smaller club. But how about the some of the managers? And I said this about Pochettino years ago and everyone shut me down. Um, and I said, he's. I don't know whether he'd be able to do it at a big club. And he went to PSG mm. and he didn't really do much do there. Much, he yeah. won the but... league, but they always win the league. Um, and mm. even then he didn't win it every year. Didn't yeah. bring them the Champions League, which is what they really want. Right. Didn't do that. And then he's everywhere he's gone since, he's looked half of what he was at, at Spurs, you know. And I mean, some managers are good with certain clubs. So some people, if you're good with youth, there's certain clubs you can go to and you'd be great. If you're good, I think what a lot of people don't realise as well is when you're at the top, the pressure is a lot. There's a reason why Klopp's tired. Talk and about it's not it. just because he's training, because he, he, he's a football coach. That's what he does. Talk the about thing it. is, it's the pressure of every single season having to be there. And it's hard work. Like Liverpool have done it with City for however many years it's been now. And it's hard. And they've not always been there. And we've not always been there. Do you know what I mean? But it's like that constant, let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. It's tough. And yeah, it's, it's hard. Tough. It's, it's hard. That's why with City, I'm not going to be angry if City don't win the league this year. I know everyone, like rival fans, want City to like come down harsh on Pep if we don't win. Like we just mm -hmm. want to travel. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we've repeated the league. So if City didn't win the league this year, I can't really be mad at them. Do you know what I mean? I'd be a bit disappointed because obviously it's nice to win trophies. But it is what it is. Like to motivate a team to do it again and again and again. And I think Very some the, some of our players that left were key figures in our team, like Gundogan, mm -hmm. Mares. Um, that not just even like Cancelo played his part, like as much as mm -hmm. he had issues with the club. He would get us assists. He would create chances. And that's what we've struggled with this season. Um, we've not had people like that. So, yeah, we've had a big change to the team. Obviously, after playing so many games, you know, being at that intensity in all competitions, like, again, is like being able to win multiple trophies in one season is difficult because you have to be brilliant in every game. It's not, OK, the Prem, you can get away with a few mistakes but the other two competitions are knockout competitions you play nice. poorly you're out no. so to be at that level for the whole season the fa cup's not easy to win the the champions league's not easy to win and the league's not easy to win so to nice. win all three you know it, they deserve a lot of yeah winning the travel's tough i think they've got you know so yeah i can't i can't be mad at them the fact that we're on for another travel even though very unlikely to win another travel. The fact that we're on no, for just, it at this stage no. is is crazy. Yeah. So I can't. That's why when people come and say, "Oh, City played shit," I'm like, I can't really be too mad at them. I like can analyze the game and say they weren't great or whatever. But 
It is what it is. We're, we'll just have to see what happens. I think if if City step up a level now, which they're more than capable of doing, then who knows what we'll win at the end of the season. But yeah, I, I just don't know whether whether we will or you not. Lot, you lot must be you lot must be stopped. That's what I say, man. I can't believe you're out <laughs> for another trouble. I hate yeah, you lot with a passion. We were. Yeah, they're hopefully not. I it's hate just, you lot even, with a passion. Even the thing, even the thing of like beating because realistically say say for example Bayern Munich do beat Arsenal we could potentially have almost this the same as last season because we could have Man United in the FA Cup final again we could have Real yeah because that's so tough Bayern Munich. so if we did win a treble technically it would be almost like last season it's just the final would obviously be different um, but if we played, say, Atletico Madrid, which most people are assuming will be in the final, we don't know if they will, but yeah, that'd be it's it could be them. Them. Yeah, yeah. that's going to mm-hmm. be similar to Inter in the way that game goes. It's going to be difficult. So it could al- almost be like almost exactly the same as last season. So mm. I don't think it's going to happen again. I don't think, I can't see the fact that it is that similar. I don't see it happening. Uh, hopefully I think it's not. less likely to. Well, if you lot beat Chelsea, you'll win the FA Cup. We ain't beating you in the FA Cup final. Do you neither, know what? The Chelsea game is the game that... Yeah, because stylistically, they match up well. Actually. Yeah, they stylistically, they match up well with yeah. you. Yeah, it's just with Chelsea, one, they seem to... Because a lot of people look at Chelsea in finals and forget how they got there. Like, Chelsea are great until the final. It's just when they get to that final, they're not great. But go into it, they're good. They've yeah. knocked us out of cups quite a few times recently. Um, they've knocked really? everyone out because they get to the final and then yeah, they get to yeah, they do actually. When they hey, get so, there, they just, hey, they Chelsea, collapse, you must so. them and we'll see you there. We'll see you there, Chelsea. Knockout City, do oh, what needs to be done. Beat Chelsea in the final. I mean, maybe it's that maybe they'll win something. Who knows? Hey, but yeah, I doubt. Have you do against us? Ten, Ten Hag just won the FA Cup and dip. That's what I want him to do. Uh, to Warrior J says, by the way, where's Ahmad Diallo? Didn't see him in the squad against Brentford. Remember, Warrior J got sent off when he scored the goal, the winner against yeah. Liverpool. Shit, you got a book, you got a red card. Shout how out many, to Amber. How many ba- is that just the one game? Just one because it was two yellows. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bat- just, okay. just one. And then the Fleur, who says Graham Potter's odds are 16 out of 10 to take <laughs> over the Manchester United job. A1. Love that. Big up to my guy Eli as well. Says, um, do you think Pep should take the handbrakes off of players like Grealish Foden and Bernardo Silva and let them dictate the game, playing through low blocks and such, which y'all seem to struggle against? So basically out of the system. Would you like to see them be given more freedom or do you just Pep and go, yeah, that's Pep's system. Um, we run that. I think, I mean, Pep has a way that he likes his team to play um, and it is successful. Um, I don't think they're as limited as people make it. Like, Pep, if they... I think they can kind of, to an extent, do what they want. Um, Grealish, the way he plays... I mean, I prefer when we play with Grealish because I feel like we have more control. He's better Mm. defensively than other players. Um, And I think we just... We look better when Grealish is playing, basically. Um, but Grealish, he he kind of, he'll run down the wing. He doesn't really cut inside like he used to do um, before mm. he joined City. Um, I think his confidence was a bit knocked when he first came and he just, it wasn't working for him. And then last season he was brilliant. Um, and then this season he's kind of been injured and he's kind of been in and out. But I think he does all right. Foden definitely plays better in the middle. He's got a lot more freedom in the middle. On the wing, it's not really, it's not his position. He needs to be in the midfield. Um, Bernardo Silva, I mean, Bernardo Silva out of the three is the one that I think has the most freedom. I think Pep, Pep kind of just lets him do what he wants. Mm. Um, but yeah, Pep has stripped, like, he wants his team to. Yeah, play he's very play. regimented, yeah, with yeah, the offense. He, he does. With the offense. And he's always, yeah. he's always been like that. To be no. fair to him, I kind of get it because sometimes it works. If there's too much freedom, you end up being caught out, and then you know yeah. it's one on one with Edison or whatever, and you don't want that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like maybe they could have more freedom. We do struggle through low blocks because it's just it depends. Obviously, we play low blocks all the time, mm-hmm. but I think 
there's certain players who can play for it better than others, like De Bruyne when he's on it, mm. can find these gaps, yeah, the, yeah. regardless of, of how the opposition are playing. But he's not been on form. Foden, when he's central, can. But on the wing, he's mm. not as effective. So I just think if he plays Foden in the midfield, we'll see we'll see a much better Phil Foden. You'd like to see we have seen all season. He's been pretty much our player of the season. The only one that you can argue ahead of Foden is Rodri, because Rodri's just Rodri. that guy is, is so much better than people give him credit for. He is just ten out of ten, hundred out of hundred. He is brilliant. Um sixteen out of ten. Got you. Right. Sixteen out of ten, Rodri. And he's the number sixteen as well. <laughs> you gotta Sorry. remember that. It's it's, uh, it's it's Ryan's favorite number. If you know what it is, it's a Rodri over Grealish. That's what it is. Sixteen out of ten. You mentioned um, Rodri and Grealish. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit just writes itself. Who's sixteen at Liverpool? Let me have a look. Who is sixteen at Liverpool? Ten is McAllister. I don't know who yeah, the sixteen is. McAllister. Ten is McAllister. It's crazy. Who is the who is the I don't even know who that uh, number sixteen is? It's fucking out here, that? Who know. is it? It's, oh, uh, they don't have a number sixteen. Oh don't they? Oh, you know you know someone's being signed for that number then. That yeah. definitely. Hundred percent. Hey, sixteen uh, out of ten men, maybe was bloody George. George. No. Who was it? Don't know. Nah, she was like eight, well she she was like number eight. It was yeah, they've not had one for a while. It was. Uh, is that Liverpool? I think it's Liverpool. Yeah. So yeah. it's like Herman Pennant. Jesus, um, that's taking it back. Yeah, Cortez. No one recent. Yeah, no one recent. Uh, that, you know what that means, people? They're definitely signing a, a number sixteen, <laughs> and it's gonna be a player that Ryan hates, guaranteed. A player that he hates yeah, is gonna sign for that. decent money. And <laughs> like I said, also you you lot may get some sixteen out of ten merch. I might make the tease. I might make some 16 out of 10 tees, maybe. I might I might have to run it because people like seem to I see it. I see it everywhere. I'd be in comment sections and I see it. I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. Kev B yeah, says, uh, says I'm looking 16 out of 10 and I'll wear it for the show. Yeah. All right, cool. I got you bet. I was just gonna get have 16 out of 10, but yeah. <laughs> but I'm looking at I'm looking 16 out of 10 is also a good idea still. But yeah. yeah, I'm just like 16 out of 10 on it. That's why I'm gonna have you saying 16 out of 10 merch would sell out. If you lot want it, let me know. <laughs> but I'm actually think I'm actually thinking about it. I'm fully thinking about putting it together for some teas and selling it for you guess the price, 16 pounds, 10 pence. That was what I was definitely thinking of. 100 percent Without doubt. Uh what would you uh what would you do with Cass and Varan end of the season? Varan put out some strong statements yesterday. What did Varan say? I think we spoke about it on Man United. If one of you lot got the comments, let me know. And in regards to Casemiro and Varan, I'd keep them both. In particular, Varan. Varan's been quality. I don't know what people are talking about. There is very little criticism of Varane. That's how you know he's been playing well. Because me and shout out to Alam, he was in the chat as well. He said shout out everybody, tapped in, like, and sub people. So yeah, you lot, hit the, run up the likes. I don't even know how many were on before I carry on. Uh, what We're at 71 likes and there's over 150 people here. 100 likes. Like check, one, two, one, two. Like check, one, two, one, two. Let's run up those likes. Subscribe as well. Roll to 11K on the channel. But yeah, with Varane, he's been quality. And we was talking about, was it on stream? It was either on stream or off stream. And we was talking about players of a certain quality don't need a defence league. The reason why there's defence leagues of players is because they're just not that good. Like Jan just mentioned Rodri. Notice there's not no defence league for Rodri. Nobody's his defence lawyer. There's no Rodri FC because Rodri performs <laughs> to a certain level. Same way Bernardo Silva. There's no Bernardo Silva defence league. Oh, I'm the lawyer for Bernardo Silva. I'm going to come on live stream suited and beauted to, to, to defend my client. No. <laughs> and Varane's the same. This is why I don't have to hype on and tell you lot about how good Varane is because Varane's been quality all season long. And he was quality last season. But because he does it in such... um, Because he's not noisy about his business and he does it in quiet and it's a composed fashion, people don't talk about it. Like, Air really likes, from a stat perspective, when they shown his stats, has a 90% success rate in the air. The closest person to him was Van Dijk, who I think I like 79%. Varane's not the tallest. He's not the biggest or strongest, but his his positional sense is A1. Like, I've been is talking about it. He just got injured because in the last game, oh, was coming okay. because he got, he got kicked and he got taken off. But oh. even that's another thing when people talk about his availability, but they don't want to talk about Martinez's availability, but don't want to talk about Luke Shaw's availability. 
when he's been more available than than both. But Varane's injury prone. Yeah, you know, a lot Varane's of injury. FC. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know Chelsea is the same. A lot of player yeah. FC. You know why? Because a lot of the players are shit, yeah. And that's why the player FC. Yeah. That's why. Because the players ain't doing the business. Because even to MC40 says, bring the wage bill down. Um, sorry. How about we get rid of the players who are not good enough and that clears the wage bill? Let's say, let's say, I was going to say, yeah, and let's say Varane's on two, 200k a week. All right, if you want to clear that 200k, how about you get rid of Scott McTominay? How about you get Linda, rid of <laughs> Lindelof? How about you get rid of Maguire? How about you get rid of Luke Shaw? There you go. That's your 200k plus more gone from the wage bill and four players who are nowhere near good enough. Easy, and I could list them. How about you get rid of Rashford? How about you get rid of Bruno? I could keep going. I'm saying, how about you send Amrabat back? The list goes on and on and on and on. Like so many players that you could get rid of in this team who ain't good enough. You know saying you can send Onana wherever or wherever you want to. Who's the back four against Chelsea then? It'll probably be Delo, Maguire, Cambawalo, and I don't know who the left back will be. Oh yeah, Wan Bissaka's fit. So it'll be Delo, Wan Bissaka, Cambawalo, and Maguire. Because they're the only fit two centre backs that we do. Business first for Idios. Yeah, their best business should be what's on the pitch. So if we're talking about bringing the wage bill down, you have you have plenty of players to get rid of. Take your pick, and that will clear the wage bill, one hundred and ten percent. But we'll see what Idios do. And the same Varane's fit apparently for Chelsea because I think it was concussion protocols. Yeah, because you're talking about how he's uh, damaged yeah, his body and stuff. So hopefully he's good. But yeah, Varane's been quality, but the rest of these men. Yeah. And also ties into what system they want to play. That's what United need to do. Ineos and Barado and everybody else involved. When we get the technical director, whether it's Jason Wilcox, it seems it's going to be, in, be him. Whoever the DOF is, all right, boom, calm. Now this is the style we play. And then you go get managers for said style. But they're on the clock. I don't trust Ineos. I've said this. I don't trust them, man, whatsoever. I really, really don't. But we'll see. <sighs> But yeah, man, run up the likes, hit the subscribe button before we do indeed close out, people. Final few questions as well. What's Mano's best position? I would say as an eight. Because he does well enough. He need, he does well enough defensively. And he does well enough offensively where I go, yeah, both. Hey, and big up to Vader as well. Look at this guy, man. You city lot, man. Pep Disciples, <laughs> nah, so passive. Yeah. Make sure you lot subscribe to Vader. He'll be here tomorrow <laughs> as well. Larger Flawless and Princess Yan. Uh, that is draw was pure comedy. Hardy, ha, ha, this guy. Hardy, <laughs> ha, ha. Two centre-backs needed in the summer. Agreed. Definitely. We need two centre-backs in the summer. And we'll go there. Yan, score prediction for Villa at home and Palace away. Um... We're not blowing teams away at the moment, so maybe 2-1 for the Villa game. Um, I don't know why, we just never keep a clean sheet, so yeah, it'd be 2-1. Palace away, oh God. Talk about it. That's normally one goal in that game. It's normally like 1-0. Um, yeah. Could be like a 2-1. I don't know, I haven't really watched Palace this season. Um, and obviously, when we used to play them, they they had like Zaha, who was always brilliant against us. Mm -hmm. They've not got him anymore. Um, they still have good players, though. They've still got people that can cool. cause us damage. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to say, I think maybe 2-1 for both. I'm hoping we win both. I do think if we are going to drop points in any, it'll be Palace. Um, so you're saying winning both? I hope we win both. I just think that Palace game being at 12.30 on a Saturday, that's uh, we don't have the most comfortable record there. Like Even though, on paper, if you look at it, we've won yeah, there quite Palace a bit. Would. Yeah, they've been better Palace Very lives. close. Okay. Like, I remember... Um, carry on, Manzi. Carry on, I carry went, on. Now. I went to the game last... No, the year before last, and it was 1-1. One, one. Um, and then a few years before that, I don't know if you remember, it's quite a while ago now, it's probably about five years ago. I remember Edison saved that last-minute penalty, and that was nil-nil. So, yeah, we've not got the best record there. Um, 
and then when we do win it is close so yeah i'm hoping to one for both well i'm hoping for more because we need goals but two one for both your prediction though yeah two one would be my prediction i'm not gonna i never um i never predict that we're gonna lose so i'll go with that yeah you a real one or draw I don't see the point in predicting a draw, man. Are you a real one? I don't do the same. So I predicted nah, that. I don't know about the team. That's you lot used to winning. I predict draws. I don't predict losses. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, yeah, you get certain games like Anfield away where you're like, mm, yeah, it'd probably be a draw. But yeah. like, yeah, not Palace away. We should be winning that game. So based off what we should be doing is what I'm predicting. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if we didn't get three points put it that way well we gonna find out final few questions people before we do indeed close out we will be redirecting to the gaming channel as well and the gang gang are live on the playback right now for raptors lakers that's going on toronto raptors versus la lakers that watch along is going right right on right now on the playback so that's playback.tv so that's sarcasm city tv we'll be also over there later on tonight by hour and a half for king's clippers as well but we will be redirecting to the gaming channel 24 hours here at sarcasm city tv people we don't stop you're going to continue to get content a question for yan who do you want as the kdb replacement actually scratch that before we get to that do you see him move, getting moved on in the summer no do you know what Talk the about way it. i see it is like city on we're not struggling financially, so I yeah. don't see the point in moving him on. Like, it's not like we need the money. Mm -hmm. um, I know financial fair play is coming in with their bullshit. <laughs> you know, everyone's struggling at the moment with that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't see – I think De Bruyne is pretty happy, so I don't see him moving on. I don't see him going to, like, Saudi Arabia. Mares, it made sense because obviously he's Muslim. It made sense for him to go that I don't see De Bruyne going. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think De Bruyne will stay and then he'll probably go to the MLS when he gets a bit older. Um, but I think he's going to want to continue here for a little bit longer. So I don't I don't see him leaving. I don't know who I want to replace him. It's... it's it's one of them. I know City in the summer want to try and get Paqueta and they're looking at uh, Bruno as well from Newcastle. But I don't oh, Bruno, us getting, what, Bruno I don't, G? Yeah, yeah, I don't see us getting him at all. I don't think he's... A te I think with Newcastle, with what they want to do, I know mm. they're saying they have to sell some, but it's not going to be them. It's not going to be him and it's not going to be Isaac because a lot of people are talking about Isaac yeah. leaving and going to their team. I, I don't see it. He's there... Probably most valuable player along with Bruno. All right, he's like, I'm a fan. I don't, I don't see him leaving. I, I, he's a great player. Like if we didn't have Haaland, I'd be like looking at him. But yeah, he's. Um, I don't see either of them two leaving. I think we can get Paqueta because we were supposed to get him in the summer, and it's only when that whole gambling thing came out that it kind of it didn't happen. Got, Are you a fan of Paqueta? Are you huh? a fan of Paqueta? Are yeah, you a fan? Yeah, yeah, he's got. I think, yeah, I think he's a good player. Pep loves him. Mm -hmm. He's been he's been great for West Ham, brilliant for West Ham. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we don't know how he's going to fare at City because we've seen players come in and they look amazing at their club and then not so much Kicks. at City. But I do think I do think he'd be good for City the way he plays. Mm -hmm. um, Kimmich is another one we've been linked to. Yeah, you lot can't get Kimmich. Kimmich. That's just that's just that's just greed. You um, lot can't get Kimmich. Well, Pep loves him in it because Pep had him. Bayern, so yeah, yeah, he's you lot can't, do, that's just greed, man. You lot can't get <laughs> I don't, nah, we won't get both. We won't get both. I think Paqueta's the more likely of the two, but obviously, it just depends on what happens with West Ham. Because I think if Calvin Phillips had gone there and been a success, City mm -hmm. would have been able to kind of say, Well, you keep Calvin and we'll give you X amount, maybe another player, like a youth player mm -hmm. as well. Um, but because obviously Calvin Phillips has not worked out, it's it's going to be a lot harder to get Paqueta now. But I do I do think that's the most likely of the the people that we've been linked to. Hmm. So yeah. No first 
Fez. Let's see, but yeah, the Kimmich, I last he's one of my favorite players. I don't need Kimmich in the in the in the press. <laughs> Can't come into United. I don't, I don't, need don't, Kimmich, I I don't see Kimmich that. come in personally. Good. Good. Like that. That's it. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Uh, sure. He's a favorite Magic NBA fan. team. How do you not know this? Magic's the team I lean to, but I don't have a favorite. I don't have favorite players. I have allegiance to Magic because I've got family over them sides. But I never look out for like the Magic results. So like, all right, let me sit down and watch the man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? KD, Kyrie, they're my two favorite players. Huge fans of those two. They're the guys I'm like, all right, they're playing. All right, let me watch. Then obviously, like BI fan, Zion, of course, Steph. I'm saying, even though he gets a lot of stick, I like Draymond Green. But yeah, it's players and fans of. That's it. Big up to Raja who says, oh, hi. Yeah, that's going to live on forever, forever, forever. And blame Yan. Not, like, actually, not, even to, not, even to, yeah, not even to blame Yan, actually, you did the business. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was you. You was the one who was like, made that thing. I respect you for not responding to him. You respond to him. We don't <laughs> get that infamous clip. Yeah, we don't get that infamous clip. And you lot, we might actually do a Palace City game. That might be the, the watch along I do on a Saturday. I might be out after. So I might have to do that game early. So you may get City Palace on there on the YouTube channel, on the YouTube channel, not on playback people. Yes, the subs will come. So J Jug, oh, you lot gotta keep promoting. And that's me flawless on Twitter and Instagram. At Sarcasm City TV on Twitter and Instagram. Like I say, make sure you follow across all socials as well. And like I said, we're gonna be redirecting to the oh yeah, Jimmy Butler, of course. Yeah, Jimmy Butler code. We're gonna be re redirecting, but the four or five I named are like the four or five. Like guys, I'm like, all right, they're playing. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and watch. But I don't mean that like Jimmy Butler's not skilled or a Luca or whoever else. That's all I'd say. But you, you're, you're Lakers, right? Yeah, you lot suck. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I hear that. You do. Like, you fair, like, I don't. Football, I don't follow basketball. It's too. It, I'm too late. Like if I'm in America, which I am all the time now, a bit different. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, I used to love Kobe, so that's why. Yeah, of course, of course. Like a Lakers. Yep. But I used Kobe to, when before. I was in uni, I used to watch it, because you know you're up all night. I used to watch, like, the heat when LeBron was there. And... Jeez, you taking it back. Yeah, I don't, to be fair, I don't really... I don't really follow basketball. Like, I mean, basketball players could walk past me and I wouldn't know who they are. <laughs> Unless it was like Steph Curry, maybe or like, but saying that I didn't even recognize Kobe when I saw him, so who knows? Look at you, I wouldn't. You so... I, wouldn't. <laughs> Don't I probably wouldn't know. I'd be like, oh, he's tall. Crazy. Oh, you don't reckon? No, I haven't. Eli says, by the way, flawless. Have you heard the new Diddy allegations? No, nah, Eli, I haven't. What's now? the new allegations? <laughs> and Eli, if you're about, we're jumping on clubs in a sec, so let me know. Um, yeah, what's the what's the allegations? Do you know what? This whole Hollywood music industry, everything is going to get flipped upside down because there's allegations coming out from everywhere no. for everyone. Like it is, if you think about all the child celebrities, Nickelodeon, all of them, like the stories that have been coming out for years about that, it's, I don't see it just all being brushed under the rug. Some people are going to be going to jail. Yeah, like what is it? What what what, what the new allegations? Yeah, yeah. Did he's always been a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Did he always been a little bit? Oh yeah, I've seen that. Well, I've heard about that, but I didn't listen to it, Eli. Because one, I don't want to listen to that, and two, I don't even know if it's true. I don't know. You never know with AI and technology and all all these things. Oh, work. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I ain't listening to that. I've heard about it, but I didn't. But yeah, the, the oh, whole thing yeah, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that do you know what the way Meek Mill's going on is probably true because he's going. Yeah, go he's on. Go, he's just moving weird. Like he just, that... he just, he just, he just a Ryan type guy. He's just a bit fruity. That's all. Yeah, I like he's a yeah, bit zesty. This, let's be honest, right? If you if you listen to Tupac, Tupac was saying all this in the nineties, and that's why that got killed. Because he was coming out saying a lot of stuff, and he you was saying, saying that men were with men in that industry. Yeah, yeah just, was... just love. Averages Wait, is going to tell you that. 
you know, like that that's gonna happen. Like that's just but Diddy's always but been every every industry's been like that for years. Like my mum was a model when she was young, mm. and like people in the modeling agency back then, which is like probably the seventies, mm. were sleeping with people to get to where they wanted to be. Do like, people, you know, sleep people with people coming in who you know with no experience and getting gigs that like people like my mum that have been models for years yeah. were getting and it was they were happily admitting that that's how they got it so yeah, yeah like you gotta do what you gotta do exactly the same. Uh, how badly do you want it you know what i'm saying yeah, exactly, would I sleep, yeah. like if i'm in a space would i sleep with an attractive woman to to aid me yeah why not i'd probably sleep with it anyway so what's the difference does it make now she, <laughs> now she wasn't nice that's a whole different conversation it's a whole well, different the thing conversation is they're not offering you women that's the thing <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if it's a guy I said, nah, I don't want, I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't want a promotion that bad. I'm good. I was saying, I'm well, good. There's loads, of, there's loads of people that have come out and said they haven't succeeded in mm. Hollywood or whatever in the music industry because they refused to yeah, do this refuse, stuff. It's so. like how badly do you want to be famous? Yeah. That's it. How badly do you want to be famous? But hey, we move. 77 likes, people. Don't forget, we are available on all audio platforms as well. This show, all the other shows on the YouTube channel, apart from Watch Alongs, are available on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, wherever you listen to podcasts, type in Sarcasm City TV. This show will always pop up. So if you want to listen while you're cooking, maybe you're cleaning, maybe you're driving, maybe you're at work. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you just don't want YouTube using up all your data. Maybe you're traveling to go to see your 16 out of 10 people. Whatever the case may be, make sure you five star us on Spotify. Leave us a review. So follow us on Spotify. Five star us. Leave us a review. iTunes, Apple Podcast, all you iPhone users, the same. SoundCloud, the same as well. And if you're under a rock somewhere and don't know what the 16 out of 10 is, let me just run the original. By the way, but here can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. All right, big up the panel. I told, as for... Shout, shout out, Ryan, man. You're, you're a real one. And that is Jan, who's in the video, who just completely ignored him. Just to clarify. Yeah, no stress, Eli. It's all good. It's all good. No worries. And for those who just seen the original, this is the remix, people. Yes, story, By the way, but here can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10s today, both of them. Right. Okay. I big up the panel. I told as for <laughs> it's beautiful. Do you know beautiful. what? Eleanor Eleanor cracks me up the most because she's like <laughs> she's like nodding. I can't. It's so funny. Her reaction kills me. Like I'm just there, like not doing anything, but it's the way she's like. <laughs> 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 like really? <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, we gonna continue to run that clip. Nah, her reaction kills me. I can't let <laughs> Yeah, her reaction is jokes. And yeah, I was it like, her so reaction funny. is jokes because she gets one with the sympathy smile. That's what it is. And you just it's got the, the way her face, like her reaction is like, really? But she doesn't say it. <laughs> it's too funny. Hey, yeah. <laughs> got the original. Hey, keep the remixes rolling in as well, you lot, man. Keep the remixes rolling in. I don't even know if the man number about what's going on. I don't even join the party. We're going to redirect anyway and see who's about. Surf is there. So we're going to see who's active. Let me actually set this up as we speak. But yeah, love to everyone that's locked in. Yan, obviously, good to have you back on because it's been a strong minute. People still do ask yeah. you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, Yan's still active because you still see her on <laughs> Shameless. She's still here, etc. People are always asking for you. But anything um, you want to add before we close out? No, it's fine. No, no. City going to win the league? Not at the moment. <laughs> All right, what about champs? I'll let you know next time. Huh? What about champs? What about champs? Champs? Uh, I just, with the current squad that we've got fit right now, mm -hmm. it might be a bit too much i think if we get past real madrid the chance of us winning it go up because even like arsenal like say we play arsenal which i think we would have to um i do think over two legs we can beat arsenal because away at the emirates um 
I mean, we wouldn't have to necessarily win there um, as long as we don't lose sort of thing. And then the Etihad, we'd be at the Etihad for the second leg. So unless we're like 2-0 down, I don't see us, you know, I, I'd see us going to win that and hopefully we'd win it. Like I yeah, said, we've been playing better in yeah. the Champions League than we have in the league. Um, mm -hmm. And it is a bit of a different... The pressure's different, you know. Um mm -hmm. So, yeah, the pressure would be more on Arsenal than City because we've just won it. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be one of them. And then, obviously, if we're in the final, we've always got a chance of winning it, regardless of who we play. So mm, I don't see us doing back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. But, Good. I mean, if we're not going to be serious, we need to go out to Real Madrid. Because I don't, what Agreed. I don't want us to do is to beat Real Madrid and then not turn up against Arsenal. Do you know what I mean? I don't want that. Like, if we're not going to go there and knock out Arsenal, then just go out to Madrid. Because I do think Madrid would knock out Arsenal. Oh, yeah, facts. I agree with that. For, for certain. So, yeah, if we're not if we're not going to go and do it. We, we do it sometimes, like, we'll knock out a hard team and then mm. it makes it easier for everyone else. It's like, no, if, you, if you're not going to go and win it, then... Just go out. You know, I'm with out. you. Yeah. So you lot just need to go out to what's it called? <laughs> I'm with yeah. it. All right, but love to everyone that's locked in. We are going to redirect to the gaming channel. But this has been the Manchester United, Manchester City show, Man of United podcast beats the Giardam City podcast live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in. Big up to all the 16 out of 10s out there. You are real ones. And I'll see you lot on the gaming channel. Salute.